Hi dear students and welcome to the NIO with Home Science Practical number 13 and our today's practical is about stain removal technique. The objectives involved in this practical are number one, identify the given stain to select an appropriate stain remover. Number three, to select the stain removing method. Number four is to remove the stain that is two days old and fresh or stained immediately. So, the practical materials required for the practicals have already been given to you in the book and I will be also showing it to you. Besides that, you should keep in mind that we have to know what stain removal technique will be used, which method is going to be used and stain has to be removed from a sample of cloth which has been kept for the past two days and which has been stained immediately. So, let's come to the practical area now and let me show you how does this all happen. So as you can see you have been given a table of observation where 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 columns has been given. The first sample tells you to put a sample of your stained sample. As you know in your procedure you have to make a sam 3 samples of the same stain so that one sample will be stuck in each column for the different samples. Then number 2, this name identify the stain, what type of a stain is present on that sample. Clend immediately means how did you use it? The immediate fresh stain. Cleaned after two days. How does it look like? And finally, what procedure was used in the process of removing the stain? But you have been given with two columns here because you need to write procedure number one for fresh that is cleaned immediately and procedure number two for writing the one which is two days old. So let's come forward to the practical area and show you what are the materials required for the practical. So the materials required for the practical are First of all, you need a hot water. I'm having a boiled water in here, which is now going to reduce. The temperature will be reduced automatically because of the room temperature. I'm having buttermilk, kerosene, lime juice, salt, talcum powder, soap or washing powder, glycerin. These are our cleaning agents. Here I'm having five containers in which I will use my each fabric as they are only 5 to 5 centimeter in length so it can easily fit into it and be easily washed and cleared so I'm going to be using this container the same containers will be used for fresh and old samples here I have got more samples that has been kept not yet stained because this procedure is going to be done for an immediate or fresh stains where I'm going to stain right now in front of you during the video and then start washing them you need a stick just in order to help you to wash it if you are not able to use your hand as the water is hot or and some tissues so that you can clear up any messes here I have got the samples which has been stained for the past two days mixture of different samples are here my students have already touched and identified so I cannot make you feel it so let me tell you this dark ones are the coffee obviously very commonly the red one is ink here is the blue ink the red one is a nail polish this long strips rectangular shape are tea this is milk oil as you can see it has been left on the paper also the paper has absorbed most of the oil there egg stain these are the different types of stains that have been done for the past two days let us use one one method of removing it using the help of our stain removal technique and its method So I would require first of all a container. Let us say my first stain is a coffee stain. So now this is a two days old stain. What are the materials required to remove a soaked coffee stain which is for the past two days? First of all I need to take my glycerin. So I will take my glycerin, pour it right on top of the stain or the fabric. As you can see this much and then put it in this. At the same time I will add some hot water. Glycerin and hot water will react and then I'll use the help of my stirrer just so that I will try to then you can see the color of the water has been changed to yellow that's why I've kept this white part here you can see on the white how the color has become 
yellowish or brownish just because the glycerin is trying to remove all its stain from the fabric. This stirrer just helps me to remove and stir the fabric thoroughly so that I can clean it. I am going to do this thing for the next two minutes. Now we will just try to squeeze it out, put it into the tissue to dap it so that I have removed all the stain. And you can see it is the white fabric as compared to our coffee stain. So the stain has been completely removed. This is the procedure that is involved for removing the coffee stain including tea stain. Okay, now we are having a sample of the tea stain. Same method will be used, it's a two days old. Put it inside, put your glycerin for your tea stain. And then apply your boiling water or hot water. Use the help of my stirrer. Give a shake. You need to actually soak it for 30 minutes inside this. So I am not having that much of time to do it. So I will try my best how much I can remove the stain. It might vary as compared to our original fabric. But the results are seen. Now I'm taking out the sample and then squeezing it out and then putting into the tissue to damp it. I know the cloth is still going to be wet. And then you can see the fabric as compared to the old one. Lots of difference. Now we will come to our next one that is the this is the tea and the coffee method which is two days old and can be used using the same procedure that is glycerin and hot water for a two days old sample. Now I am having two samples here that is for milk and egg. Both are of the same type of stain. Let us see how it is removed using the two days method. And then for that I will be taking my new container so that there is no contamination of anything. Wiping off my stick and into this container I will add my milk stain fabric. For a milk stain fabric, you need to soak it in salt water. Most probably 2 tablespoons of salt. So, water can be of anything. So, I will use again the same hot water. And then I will add my salt. Milk or egg can be used using salt and hot water. Here is the salt. You need to soak it. But in my case, I don't have that much of time as I have mentioned before. So I will not soak it. I will just stir it quickly. You can see the stirring into the salt. Let the salt get dissolved into the water and the fabric at the same time. And then stir. Stir about for 2 minutes. But basically you need to soak it. Now I will just take it off and then squeeze the axis. Use the help of my tissue again and then damp it. Once damp, you can see the fabric as compared to the milk to one new and then the stain has been completely removed. This is the method that can be used for a milk sample. Let us see what we can do using your egg sample. Same method, soak it in salt water. Since I had already used this water for removing the stain, doesn't matter, you can use simply the again the same water and then uh, add this and some more salt with some more hot water. And stir. Now we'll just take out the sample, squeeze out axis and then again damp. Once damped, you can see the sample perfectly clean as compared to our sample in here. 
do matter it is my fingers that is down it can be seen like that and it is wet but you can see the difference thoroughly that this is a clean fabric while this is stained these are the two this is the first method that can be used for both the stained sample that is milk and your egg sample okay now let us come to our third type of sample that is our oil sample so what can be done for an oil sample this is the sample which is for oil so for an oil sample you will see what I'm going to do so now you can see we have taken our oil sample and I'm going to put it inside the container it's a new container again put some washing powder into it and add my hot boiling water you have been told to soak it but as I told you again no time so we will just straight away stir it inside the hot water so I have removed it out and you can see there is a new type new stain is there on this which is actually a soap stain so no need to be worried about it so what I am going to do is take this soaked stain again and put it into a new fresh water of hot water again and dip it in that and again give it a stir to remove those stains